morning everyone this is Rocco coming at you with my second um, full self driving uh, beta 11 drive For some reason it is not letting me enable it it did show up the thing just before oh that's weird it doesn't show the symbol that must be a little bug interesting okay anyways um, yeah, so we're gonna see, this is my first time going on highway. I was a little bit late. This is Friday morning. I'm going out to a doctor's appointment this morning. But um, we're just gonna see how it works. I haven't been on the highway, but all the videos I've seen, uh, the highway's been doing great. Um, the things we're gonna look for on this drive is um, it's mostly how it passes trucks. Uh, it is a Friday morning, of course, 7.45 a.m. and Usually there's quite a bit of traffic on the road at this time, so we'll see. I'm gonna see if I can note some of the changes I've noticed on this version. Like at the, we need to find a new name. It's no longer a tentacle, you know. Uh, I guess just call it path planner. It's really what it is. It seems to show further ahead. The blinker is still the same here. Uh, it seems to be slightly more accurate coming through here. Let's see if it stays. If if it can see. So this is improved. Uh, well, it's not sunny, so we need to see what it's going to be like if it's sunny out. So why was it? See, why was it slowing down there? Oh, see, this has got not going to be good. There's a semi truck coming off to my left. Why is it waiting till the very end? See, that's that's not gonna that's not gonna fly. See, look, look at it swerved. This is no better than navigating autopilot. For this merge like not not at all like i don't understand why it does that I'm like let me just check my settings here um i've noticed several people it would just waits till the very end and doesn't actually merge i don't understand why it does that like you can see i don't have minimal lane changes on i have lane change the notifications on but so it didn't try to notify me i have it on the average profile right and there's nothing else to affect how it changes lanes. So I'm not sure why it did that. I'm gonna go ahead and just up the speed limit here. But yeah, there's like nothing here that would have made it not change lanes there. Yeah, navigation, yeah, I don't know. Please pay attention to the road, because <laughs> I'm looking at the screen too long. Well, if you didn't not change lanes, I wouldn't be looking at the screen. Um, but see, okay, so this I don't like. Like, we're barely catching up to this truck. The problem is on this road, you can't... Okay, let me show you the track behind me. It's hard to see, but there's a bunch of cars behind me. And they will go 10, 15 over the speed limit, and I won't. Like, and so they're just going to ride me the whole way. Um, if I do that. But I don't see, unfortunately we don't have any semi-trucks. If we were a little bit later, we would have had that semi-truck behind us. See, now it needs to get back over in the right lane. So, I guess if I look at the traffic behind me, they're not really approaching me. So, right here is the difference, though. The speed limit is going to change. It seems like it doesn't jam on the brakes as quickly, so I, I do. I'm gonna make it get over because I don't want to be in this lane. Uh, there's no reason to be in the left lane when you have a whole bunch of traffic tailgating me, as well as there's no one in front. Now we're gonna see if it tries to get over because of these cones. I hope that's gone because it's actually, ironically, more dangerous to get over because you're closer to the construction workers if you get over away from these cones here. Uh, that's what it does on both sides of this highway here, is that it tries to, at least on Navigate and Autopilot, it tried to get over, which would get closer to the construction workers, which would make it less safe, right? So it, it's just a heuristic thing now, it's just program C cones, change lanes, right? So now hopefully it's using neural nets to be like, hey, cones are there, but like, I don't see any people, so we're just going to stay in the lane we are in, right? So everything seems pretty solid here this morning. I might be testing, so that reminded me of this truck next to me, if you can see this trailer. 
Um, if you haven't seen my video testing a trailer, that's probably linked in the sidebar or somewhere. It's the second video below my last one, uh, two videos ago. Uh, you can see full self driving towing a trailer. I might be doing that again this weekend on Beta 11. So we'll, we're going to see if that's changed any. Uh, we'll just see if the item I want to purchase is uh, still up for sale. But um, yeah, we're going to see. We do have a truck here, so this is going to be a good test. Let's go ahead and up the speed so it actually does it. But um, this will be a good test. How is it going to pass once I'm approaching traffic? Is he good? It's, notices we're approaching traffic and gets over. This is really good. That's an improvement. Previously, it navigated on autopilot. It would wait till here and then turn the blinker on and start getting over. But then it wouldn't change lanes right away. It would just take forever to get over. And so then the person coming up on my left would be like, well, should I slow down or should I start speeding up because he's not getting over? It just it causes it caused confusion with traffic. So it looks like that's been improved at minimum. So that's great. Interesting. His truck is trying to pass. It's really annoying on this road that it's too late and when trucks try to pass because it takes so long. This seems smoother to uh, once um, you're approaching traffic to slow down and maintain a good distance. That seems a lot smoother and more natural now. This is going to be really nice because I have a um, road trip coming up in May. Uh, up to Michigan uh, and this is going to be really sweet to uh, have this uh, Navigant, well it's not Navigant Autopilot anymore, it's full self driving all the way through. Um, it's going to be a lot nice, nicer to have the smooth behavior of this going up there. So one thing, this is kind of like the weird gray area, uh, so I'm barely passing this truck here. You have a car merging over here. Hopefully this car speeds up so this truck doesn't need to jam on its brakes. And it did not speed up. You've got to be joking. Where, where's the car at? Okay. Well, it must be. Okay, anyways. Um, hopefully after this truck it gets over. My car should be getting in the right... Yeah, there you go. That's great. That's exactly what I want to see. That, that's that's fantastic behavior. That's exactly what I would have done. Like exactly, I would have passed that truck. But probably what I would have done even more is I would have sped up to 72, and then slowed back down to 70. Right? Uh, I wish. I hope they make it uh, a, a um, passing offset. So I'm like, okay, you can go a little bit faster speed to pass, and then slow back down. Because uh, what happens? more often than not you go to pass someone and they start speeding up and so you're just riding side by side and like this doesn't help anyone at all I'm hoping we might be slowly catching up to that truck up here and I'm hoping we're so close to our exit it needs to stay in this lane regardless like this is close enough to me that like unless that truck was going substantially slower oh this is awesome um, so it thinks that's a semi truck instead of just a truck pulling a trailer but it moved over to the right in the lane. That's something that like supposedly Navigate and Autopilot did. But it never worked for me, ever. Ever worked. But this version it clearly worked very obviously. It moved over, and that's awesome. I'm gonna be doing this same route at least three times this weekend probably. Um, so we're gonna, well including this one. But so we're gonna have a lot of good highway testing coming up. And you know this route. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know this route very well. Every single one of my videos basically goes into town this way. And so you can see how Navigate and Autopilot compares to uh, full top driving. And so far, like this is definitely, without question, the best it's ever been because the way it changes lanes. So now we're slowing down, we're catching up to this truck. So again, we're so close to this exit, it needs to stay in this lane. Now again, autopilot in the past, we're trying to change lanes. I'm like, why do you change lanes? We're so close to the exit. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we are going to change lanes now. This exit right here, this is something I'm looking for an improvement. And we're going to see how that works. Uh, I'm going to let it do its thing. 
I'm hoping it, it improves that um, exit. We're gonna see. Thankfully, we don't have any cars coming on the coming on the on ramp. Uh, it's already turned. Okay, well, it needs to turn the blinker back on. What's it? That's okay. That's that's bad. It slowed way the heck down on the highway, and there was a car like coming up on me fast. It needs to get over. That's the worst it's ever been there. I clipped that video. That's the worst it's ever been, and tag Tesla in it so they can see, so they can fix that. This is this is I wish voice commands. I, I hopefully I did the snapshot, so hopefully it's obvious um, why that was an issue. So I had to press the accelerator to get it off the highway quicker. I didn't disengage, but that. That's um, that was very close to a disengagement. That was not good in my opinion. Okay, so this is an improvement. Look, look how that slowed down. Very good. Oh, let's see if this fixes this. Oh wait. Um, I'm not sure if that. I I I'm, ignore that last comment. Um, but yeah, this is um, pretty sweet so far. Uh, hopefully, even though it's not using radar anymore, I hope that, like, I can see this car in front of me. I don't know if you can see it. You can barely see it in the camera right there. You can barely see the car. So I would think the wide angle, well, definitely as I was approaching, my car should see that there was a car in front of this truck. Yeah, I can barely see it. There he goes. Yeah, it showed up. Um, but it should remember that there was a car. We're at a stop traffic light. It should see the cars in front of this truck before I get up to it. And it should remember there are cars there. So, okay, it almost disengaged because that truck right there was changing lanes and it was using it as a follow car. Okay, speed back up, great. Uh, uh -huh. A little bit hesitant. I think it was hesitant because of that car coming on the right right there. I was seeing it coming and it has a slight bit of hesitancy. Wow, why are you slowing? It's still slowing down. Speed back up. Come on. I'm not pressing the pedal, but um, that's new behavior. Um, it seems to be much more distance given to cars turning off for some reason. So I didn't expect a lot of changes for the city streets. So this is obviously city streets right here, right? No, city, you know, town, town streets. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like that behavior. And you used to, it, it's leaving far too big of a gap, like way, way, way too big of a gap um, when it, for cars that are turning off. I don't like that at all. Um, yeah, so the I did expect a lot of changes on city streets. Definitely there are some changes so far. Um, so far, not great changes, I guess. At least that one with the turn off. I don't. I don't like that personally. Maybe other people like that. I don't. Um, most people will continue to go their speed, assuming the car is turning off and maintain not braking. So I'll just maintain my speed and slowly get closer to it. And then yeah, and then we'll. Uh, I hate how it changes changes the outside air. Start sucking in the fumes of other cars. Okay, so what needs to happen up here is I already know, I plan super far ahead. This is how my m mom taught me to drive. You plan super far ahead. You get in the lane you need to be in before you need to get there. And then you, you don't have to stress about um, what turn lane you need to be in. We, uh, we need to be in this left lane starting about right here. So we still have some time. We need to get in the left lane here. Um, I'm going to see how it does that. Right? Because there's a turn only lane at this turn right here. This this traditionally is not done well right here. So we're gonna see if um, full self driving will um, fix that. I mean, sorry, V11 will fix that, right? And we're gonna see here. Okay, so that's good. That should have gone for that yellow light. And we're gonna change from 45 mile an hour to a 20 mile an hour zone. And like, like it's going too fast. It needs to change at the bridge right there. So that was still a good, smooth slowdown. It said, except it needs to slow down sooner. 
right here is the 20 zone, right? And it's still set to 45 mile an hour. And you see, it should have already gotten over. And really, I think it's only one turn lane um, there. I don't go this route too often, so I'm not mega familiar. Like, it used to, like, there's no one next to me. Get over, car. Like, this is what annoys me about, um, I'm just gonna go, actually, it's, it's, okay, it's not gonna get over. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna mess up because it can't get over. Okay, well, I'm just gonna probably disengage. Um, because I have to get it in the left lane. It didn't even try when it had a wide open spot. Okay. Failed to get over soon enough. Like, it doesn't need a blinker on here. We're not making a lane change. We're just continuing on our path. And use the blinker here, I suppose. Which it did. So that was smooth, er, I guess, going through that turn. But yeah, that disengagement has happened on previous versions, and it's about as bad as it's ever been because it, because I never I didn't change the lanes for it. Normally, I would make force it to get over them. Like, hey, you're gonna it's gonna mess up. But thankfully, because of this recording right here, I can record. Like, why did I disengage? It failed to make the lane change. Like. Straight up, it just even when I told it to make the lane change, it failed to make the lane change. <laughs> so that's the thing. I just like it's absolutely ridiculous that it's just it's gonna constantly fail to make the lane change. Let's see, I have to squeeze in here, but yeah, so this is I think gonna be the end of this video. Um, after this, I have to um, go to a, another appointment. Um, and then, um, oh, it's, everything's full here. Um, then I have to, uh, we'll, we'll go around town a little bit, um, and do some driving there. And then the highway driving on the way back home would be the rest of that video. But yeah, I uh, appreciate everyone watching. I think so far the highway driving has improved. City streets are... Um, no better, put it that way. Uh, no worse. I well, okay. Besides the turn off issue, that that's the only thing worse. But it's not it's not a serious issue. But otherwise, I think uh, I don't think that was bad. Tell me what you think, everyone. One disengagement wasn't too bad um, for this drive. Still made it in one piece, and no children hit. Looking at you, Dan. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.